Hi YouTube, so today I decided to do a what's in my makeup bag slash what's my everyday makeup look video. And here is my makeup bag. This is by Victoria's Secret and um, it's like a gold trunk. And it also came with a um, like a extra, a little kind of like a smaller makeup bag for travel. It's black, it says Victoria's Secret on it in gold, Let foil lettering. <clears throat> And so basically, um, it's split up in, up here in the top, there's a zipper. And so up there is where I put the things that I don't necessarily use every day, but I just use them a lot. So what I have in here, I'll start with this area first. I have a set of magnetic lashes. I don't wear these a whole lot, but, um, maybe once a week. So I put these in there and this was, this is like a generic, like, Chinese brand. I don't, I don't really know what the name is. It was something I found on Amazon. And then I have a pair of contact lenses. I'm not, oh yeah, that's why I put them in there. I was, I was trying to think, I was like, why did I have these in here? But it was actually because like the last time that I was traveling that I wanted to make sure that I had an extra pair just in case. So, um, and then I also have a couple of things I got from BoxyCharm. One of them is uh, by Dr. Brand. It's called Needles No More. Um, no more baggage. It's like an eye cream and it works really, really well. I actually talked about this in another video when I was talking about, it was my boxy term anniversary and I was talking about some of my favorite things that I've received in there. So I have this in here. Again, I only use it a couple, maybe once a week, maybe. And then same with this. Um, actually sometimes I have really trapped lips and so I use this every single day. But lately I haven't been having that problem, so I've only been using it like once a week. But this I got in February, the February Boxy Charm, and it is uh, by Seraphine Botanicals. It's the sugar and lemon lip scrub. So again, I only use that like once a week. So the like once a week things I put up here. And I don't actually usually do my makeup every day. Um, I only do it a couple times a week. Like if I'm going somewhere or sometimes if I'm going to do a video and I don't have a look planned for the day. So then show you what else is in here and in this um i just put like the smaller things in here so they don't just get everywhere there's not really a need for it okay so the um actually let me go in order of the way that i do my makeup so first i prime and um i recently discovered this it's called perfect that's like the company name is perfect it's a skin perfecting gel it works as a primer and i think this is the only like this is one of my top three primers that I've ever used. So it's this one, Perfect. Okay. Um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and the um, Cover Effects Blurring Primer are my favorites. So I love this. Um, I've been using this a lot lately or every single time I do my makeup actually. And then, thank you. Here you go, you have that. There you go. Um, Oh, and if you're wondering what's in the background there from my past couple of videos, like on the ground, that's right. my kids. They're, they have a play TP, but I don't know what they did to one of the, the legs of it. So I put that back there last night so I can, um, thank you, so I can um, figure out what's going on with it. it. I don't know if it's broken in half or because it's there's a couple of pieces that like kind of fit together. So here you go. You take that. You take that. Thank you. And then um, for, uh, for my foundation, I use... Um, Oh my gosh, where'd it go? Here it is. Um, it's by L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Coverage Foundation. And this is actually too light for my skin. Um, when I bought it, I was like so irritated, but I was like, you know, I'll just use it and then I'll just use bronzer with it to make it the right color. So it's like a number 302 Creamy Natural. It's too light for me, but I'm going to use it up the rest of the way. I only need a pea-sized amount of this stuff, and it gives me full coverage. So I highly recommend this. I doubt that I'll ever buy um, my former favorite, which was Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. That was my go-to, but this works just as good. And so you save like 30 bucks by getting this. So I will probably never buy that again, as much as I love it and you know i recommend it if you want something more high end um but this works just as good and um there i i would never go out and pay for a more expensive foundation um just to try it out or anything like that because it's like this is like my holy grail if i happen upon something by accident then that would be different but i'm not going to spend a lot of money um so then i got this from tarte like i said tarte's one of my favorite um brands ever is one of my favorite makeup brands 
Um, so I got this Tarte Shape Tape. And again, I got this too light. That's okay. Um, I don't really need it since I used this. This gives me full coverage. But what I do is I put two dots. I put them right here and here. And then I spread it out. And then I kind of like put it down here a little bit. So I like I spread it out. Like I spread it out up here and then down into here. And it's to try to make my forehead look bigger because I have a really short forehead and it makes me look like a Neanderthal. Um, if you saw one of my other videos, um, I had a DNA test done and I literally have twice the amount of Neanderthal DNA as the average human. So, and that definitely shows in my forehead. So I, I put this here to try to make it look like I have a bigger forehead. Um, so I don't really use it for the purpose of covering anything but but it works for brightening up areas making them look or making them look larger so you know if you wanted to you know maybe put them down here it would work well for you know you know brightening up this area um that work would work very well um and it definitely helps if you have a, a, a neanderthal forehead this will fix that for you okay so then after that um since i have a color I, my foundation is too light then i use bronzer um right now i have the physician's formula bronzer in the shade light bronzer and um i'm not really a fan of this formula uh, it's it takes a lot to like pick up anything so i'm, I'm in the market for an, a new bronzer but um i'm not going to buy one anytime soon because uh in october in box for boxycharm i was watching the spoilers and um the there's supposed to be a face palette by pure and boxycharm and one of the shades in there is a bronzer so i'm gonna see if that works well and if not then i'll probably just go ahead and try to find a bronzer um i'll probably get the butter bronzer by physicians formula um or the one by Too faced that like is it called sweetheart bronzer no that's not what it's called anyway one of the ones that kathleen lights always talks about um Pretty much every time she suggests something, you know, it's 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 gospel to me. So that's probably what I'll do. Sorry, I just had to fix the lighting a little bit. I just wanted to open my blinds a little bit because it seemed like it was getting a little overcast. I'm in Northern Virginia, so Hurricane Florence is probably not going to affect me a whole lot. It's probably going to rain, you know, over the next few days, maybe over the next week. But it probably shouldn't affect me too bad because, like I said, I'm in Northern Virginia, so I should be okay. But it is a little overcast. Okay, so then um, lately I've been using for like blush, I've been using this. Um, it's by Physicians Formula as well, and it's called Bronze Booster. And it's just like like bronze with like a little dot of pink in the middle, and it's got some shimmer. So that's what has been my go-to lately. Although, you know, I actually have, I have a nice um, uh, blush around here. It's a real her brush and it's blush and it's pink and I really like that because I love pink blushes this is just like kind of bronze but um it it's really hard to pick that up pick it up like on a brush I've been trying and it's 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 tough it, it does a lot of build up and I don't want to irritate my skin by rubbing over and over and over again but again I'm not going to be buying a blush because um, my boxy charm is supposed to be here tomorrow um, my September boxy charm is supposed to be here tomorrow and I'm I already read the spoiler email and found out that I'm getting the Lara Geller blush in Tropic Hues and it's a beautiful pink color so I'm just going to hold out until I get that and then I'll just put this away in my drawer I have like a bunch of drawers over here like little little drawers um for you know like backups or things that I just don't use as much or things that I do for more like fun looks or something like that but in here is where I keep the stuff that I use often so that this will be probably retired to the drawers tomorrow. Okay. Now, if you're wondering how I get so much makeup, um, one, I subscribe to BoxyCharm. Two, um, my dad it works in quality control for Ulta. So, and it's not, I mean, that I mean, it's not as exciting as it sounds. He literally, you know, is like counting products and stuff like that. And he like drives a forklift and stuff like that. But because he's an employee there, a full-time employee, he gets like a box, like every other month he gets like a box of stuff. Um, so I, I have some some stuff in here from, from his, his haul that he gets. Pretty, most of the stuff, almost all the stuff, if it's not BoxyCharm, it's from that. Um, so that's, that's how I've kind of built up a, a good collection. Okay, so then um, for highlight, I have, <laughs> I'm so 
summer I'm like digging through this like a kid digging through a toy box because that's what it is for me these are my toys okay I did not know this brand existed this time last year but I'm amazed by it now okay so it's called it's by Becca Cosmetics and it's a highlighter it's called a shimmering skin perfector highlighter and um this is the shade Opal. It's my favorite. My other favorite one is Prosecco Pop. Um, so Prosecco Pop came in the October BoxyCharm last year and I got it and I was just amazed. And then um, and then in December, my dad got another box from Ulta and, um, and Opal was the one that was in the box. So like I freaked out when I saw it and I got it. And um, whoa, don't turn me, don't turn me. I'm in a, I'm in a twirly chair. Um, so I got that. I was so excited and I, I didn't expect to love it more than Prosecco Pop, but I do. So I will probably <laughs> stop pushing me. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's my favorite now. And, um, and I'm really hesitant to try other, oh my gosh, he's turning me all the way around. No, let me do my video. Um, so I, it, I highly doubt that I will, will ever pick another highlighter. Who knows though? You never know. Kid, here, take this. This is, it's so hard for me to do my makeup or really get myself ready any day or, or do these videos, it's like really tough because he is always, you know, being one. Just just doing the one-year-old thing, so. Okay, sorry if that annoys you at all. <laughs> I'm just used to it. So sometimes I don't realize if like, what's going on in the background is annoying to other people. Yeah, I brushed your hair, now you brush your hair. Here we go. Good boy. Question is hair. Okay. So, you know, I get my face all set and I know a lot of people are like, why would you do your face before you do your eyes? Cause of the fallout. But typically I don't use things that have a lot of fallout anyway. But if I do have fallout, I just take a big fluffy brush and I just swipe it and it just goes away. So that just hasn't been a problem for me um, so far. So then after I get my face like all set with that, then, um, I spray with the Cover FX uh, Illuminating Setting Spray. I got this in the November Boxy Charm, and um, I love this stuff. This is amazing. Like this is better than the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Yes, because I ran out of that right before I got this. I went a couple of months in between, and when I got this, I was like, oh, this is probably not going to be as good. It is amazing. Let me tell you that. And it takes forever to go through too because I got this in November. Right now it's September, so I've had this for ten months. And I use it generously and it's right there, right down there. So definitely one of those few products that I actually believe is worth $40. Because it'll last me for years, really. I mean, I should probably check to see when uh, when, it'll, when it'll expire, but okay. So then um, I do my eyeshadow and so Sometimes I just use my regular primer to prime my eyes first, but other times I use this by Urban Decay in the shade Sin eye primer, and it's specifically an eye primer. So then I do my eyeshadow, and this is I got in the July Boxy Charm. It's by Crown, and it's called um, Fuego. And I love this palette so much. I thought it was gonna be a boring palette, but it ended up being my dream palette. This is gonna be tough to beat. Unless we get a palette that has like a, like like some plums or eggplants or something like that in it, because that's another color I love to use. Um, but yeah, so that's what I use. And as you can tell, this one's my favorite color. So that's what I have going on here. Everything that I'm talking about right here is what I'm wearing right now. So then after I do my eyeshadow, then I fill in my brows with the It Cosmetics uh, Brow Power, uh, what is this called? Pencil, brow pencil in Universal Taupe. On one side, you have a, like a spoolie, which is very important in my opinion for brows and then the other side it's it's a pencil. So um, a lot of people were worried, they're like taupe, taupe is not gonna work on like dark haired brows but I have raven colored hair naturally. Obviously I have black eyebrows and this works perfect for it. So we got this in the January Boxy Charm, and I love it. Still haven't run out of it. I, like I said, I use this almost every day. Um, so then sometimes if I want a more feathery look, I've been using these, we got this in the April Boxy Charm. It's by Brow Gal, and it's got like it's called Instatint. It's got like little extra fibers on there, so I, I stick it on to make it look like more feathery. I don't know if I really see a difference, but I want to believe. So then I use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Um, personally, okay, I bought this before the whole anti-vax thing. 
I don't know if I'll ever buy it again. I heard that NYX has a good dupe, so I'll probably do that. But anyway, it works really good. So I line the top. I usually give myself a little baby wing, a little like kitten wing. Um, and then I do my inlines with this other liner, which is a gel liner, and it's called, it's by Butter London, and it's in the shade Union Jack Black. Where did it go? Oh my gosh, I think my baby got a hold of it when he was playing around in here. Okay, unfortunately, I cannot show it to you right now. Oh, yep, there it is. Whoa. Okay, so I use this, and you do use it up pretty fast, unfortunately, but it is, it is great, I do love it. And then, um, then I curl my lashes with this. Just a little, it's like a generic brand. I think I got it at Walmart or the Dollar Tree. It was like a generic brand. Like it was literally called Eye Curler, uh, Lash Curler. And then lately I've been using the Wander Beauty Unlashed Mascara from the July BoxyCharm. It's okay. I like it. Um, I wish it gave me some more volume or something, but that's okay. I also keep tweezers in here for just stray hairs. I try to do that every day. And yeah, that's that's about every that is everything. Well, I better go before um, this cuts out. Uh, but that's what's in my makeup bag, and this is what I wear for just like any day, just average day. So if you liked my video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next next one. Thanks. Bye.